Hi friends, uh, today is 28th September 2012. This video is on improving engineering skills in India. It's chapter 26 of Right to Recall Party Manifesto. Right to Recall Party Manifesto you can download from rahulmehta.com slash 301.htm. I repeat, rahulmehta.com slash 301.htm. Uh, chapter 26. So, how can engineering skills be improved in India? So, first, how bad is engineering school? I generally don't describe the problem. I always talk about solution. But I talk about the problem when media is not given that information to you. So, engineering skills are so bad that we have 40 crore people in India with mobile phone, maybe more. And how many mobiles we are manufacturing? Zero. We are practically import superpower. Uh, all mobile phones are imported, calculators, microwave ovens, washing machine, even the fan, so called Bajaj fan which are made in India, the inner core is imported. Then uh, motor car, all motor car including Tata Nano complicated parts are imported and the assembly line are imported and the robots on the assembly line are also imported. Uh, the expensive cars like Audi, Mercedes are of course entirely 100% imported. No, no, even assembling is not done here. So, uh, almost all complex manufacturing components are imported. Weapons are all imported, which is the biggest problem. We are not manufacturing any semiconductor chips. All computer chips, semiconductor chips are imported. Most motherboards are also imported. We are not even assembly, manufacturing motherboards. And uh, uh, in case, case of weapons, as you know, all our tank. How many Arjun tanks we have? 50, not more than 50. And all other tanks are either uh, are imported, made in Russia. All our fighter planes are either made in uh, UK or made in US or made in France, Rafael. Uh, and uh, missiles we say that we made Brahmos etc but the core is Russian made in Brahmos and uh, most other components most other weapons so how can manufacturing be improved means what are the laws we should print in the gazette what are the laws we should print in the gazette so that the manufacturing skills in India improve what is a gazette Gazette is instructions sent by CM, PM to collectors, uh, secretary, etc. Based on which the collector, secretary, other department like income tax, sales tax, etc. They do their work. So one of the Gazette notification I have proposed to improve engineering skills in India is right to recall district education officer. When right to recall district education officer comes, math science law education will increase, will improve, language education will improve and that will raise engineering skills. Then Satya system, it is related with right to recall district education officer. Satya system is a way by which mathematics exams will be taken. I have described it in chapter 13. It is there in Hindi, H3001. H3001 describes this in Hindi and English video will come uh, soon. Then comes annex social security of labor. Universal social security that USA has that almost everyone is guaranteed some small payment after the age of 60. And government will uh, take care of an elder or old person if there is no one to look after him. The government takes care of a handicapped person if there is no one to look after him and of course the money comes from taxation money does not come uh, free but through a universal taxation the government has implemented a social security system for elderly as well as also unemployed in US as well as European country the unemployed labor also gets a dole which is about 10% 5% uh, 10% of the normal salary that he can get but sufficient that the person doesn't come on the road and education is free in US, in Europe. So that creates a social security system for the labor. Next is higher fire. It goes with social security. Once we have social security of labor in place, 
higher fire policies can be implemented employers can be given a power to expel the employee and this way the productivity will increase and indiscipline will decrease uh, today one reason for rampant indiscipline is lack of higher power fire rules in india then easy entry and easy exit laws to maximize the competition competition is of course there if there is one company it is oligopoly one more some competition 10 more some competition but the biggest reason which makes an industry competitive is not that there are 10 people or 20 people because even if there are 50 people they can all collude they can all form a uh, agreement uh, which they and all can keep the price as high but the fear of newcomer that what if the newcomer comes and gains the market so it is the fear of newcomer which keeps the incumbent competitive but the fear of the newcomer can come if the entry laws are easy entry laws means purchasing land starting industry uh, should be easy for example in china if you have your own machinery in china government will provide the land electricity connection gutter connection everything so they have pl- miles and miles where the plots are almost ready uh, completely ready you decide that you want this plot so the electricity connection gutter water everything will become available within a week including the uh, possession of the plot and now you make your own walls and the walls if you use their specific uh, some standard designs then walls also will be ready within uh, two weeks you can bring your machinery and your whole factory will be up and running in one month whereas in india it literally takes if the industry is big it sometimes takes years and years even to get the land on all the clearances of this agency that agency in china all these clearances come within a week then in order to promote engineering so what we have to do is easy entry laws that uh, remove as many clearances as possible remove as many interfaces as possible with universal social security every person will have to pay social security tax and he will get social security but the employer the burden will not be on the employer so employer will not have to maintain record of provident fund and uh, gratuity and all that uh, that will be done by the the record will be maintained by the government and the employee himself and uh, remove the uh, tax laws such as excise vat Uh, confined to well tax so the person does not have to take so many clearances and clearance should be restricted to just one environment and that should be more of registration that here is a place where i am starting my industry so environment officers coupled with jury will examine that he is taking all the environment related precautions and that should that should be it then high customs duty i have proposed custom duty of 300% of which one third will be distributed among citizens and the custom duty will be 300% on the manufactured goods uh, the raw material will be duty free raw material such as any minerals such as gold silver or copper iron or whatever so how is the duty computed that somebody brings a say mobile phone says, says that this is a raw material so the way to do is that the raw material component has to be detected so this mobile phone let us say weighs uh, 500 gram so assume that all 500 gram is copper so on the 500 gram of price equivalent to 500 gram of copper duty will be 0% and then remaining will be 300% so of course you will have to pay 300% custom duty moment you disaggregate the dollar which is one of the another proposal that each person who wants to import will have to get dollar on him government of india will not provide him any, any dollar that itself will reduce the imports what is the uh, how does it improve manufacturing that higher the custom duty more the lesser will be the import and more will be the emphasis on the local manufacturing so that way the local manufacturing will grow all countries including us continued with high custom duty till their industry matured one example is japan japan had high custom duty till 1990 and a lot of other import restriction only after 1990 the custom duty and import restrictions in japan started reducing and that was when japanese industry became 
world class in the sense it became number one in uh, number two in terms of uh, competitiveness and in terms of uh, uh, level of expertise. So at low level of expertise, protection is must and there should be in form of custom duty. Reducing cost of land. The biggest risk that a person takes when he starts a business is the land rent and the labor he has to pay for two years. Because any business, it may happen that it runs for one year and practically makes no profit at all or makes losses. Means very little revenue and all the expenses go down the drain. So in such case, the two expenses that he incurred for uh, for first two years, one year, is the something that always appears as a risk to so higher those two expenses difficult it will be for people to start industry so how does so when land price reduces the land rent reduces flat rent shop rent all the rents reduce as the price reduce and that reduces the risk of starting business so more businesses will start as the land price reduces how can land prices be brought down it is discussed in my video e2501 e2501 is on taxation that by imposing value tax of 1% on the market value, the value of land will decrease how? That let us say I have 10,000 flat and now the tax rate is 1% of the flat value. That means I have to pay 100 flats amount as a tax. <coughs> so either I'll sell it, either I'll sell some of my flats or I'll rent them. Whether I sell them or rent them, in either case, the supply increases and if supply grow, increases, the price will go down. Then, increasing purchasing power of commons. Say industry manufactures, but if the customers don't have purchasing power, then we'll be stuck with the importing. And import is in the hands of MNC, so we'll become dependent on the multinational supply chain established by MNC and that they can use to blackmail or buy out any day. So we must depend on huge amount of local consumption. So how do we rise local consumption? The income of citizens have to increase and one proposal I have given is MRCM. MRCM is that the mineral rent that comes to government uh, the will directly will be directly divided among citizens. MRCM is uh, discussed in chapter 5. And then creation of WOIC. Uh, WOIC is wholly owned company by Indians. So it's a separate type of company in Company Act. For example, Company Act has varieties of companies, several types of company. For example, you can have partnership, then uh, uh, limited company, then uh, uh, what is called as a, a public limited company, then government undertaking, public sector, uh, PSU, joint ownership, so forth. WIC will be that if a company is registered as WIC, then only citizens of India can purchase the share and government body can purchase the share and any other registered WOIC can purchase the share and fourth no one else can purchase the share. So if I am citizen of India I can buy the share, I can transfer it to any other citizens of India, I can transfer it to government of India, they can buy it from me, any other WIC board. So eventually if there are let us say 5000 WIC company then owner at citizen level will be all Indian citizens. So we can make a comp uh, so once the concept of WOIC is put in the Company Act of India, one after another sector can be made WIC only, for example food and many other sector, uh, complex goods. More important than food is weapons. In fact, if I have a choice that okay, all your food will be 100% imported and second, weapons will be all made in India. Another is choice is that food will be all made in India but weapons will be imported. I'll take the, of course, I'll take the solution where both food and weapons are made in India but let us talk about the relative importance of the two. I'll take imported food and weapons which are made in India. Because made in India weapons are far more important. The whole military can collapse because if the weapons are imported. And uh, food in worst case scenario we can always grow. So now counter arguments I'll address briefly one counter argument I get against higher fire is that no labor should be protected so all these uh, so called uh, I mean, they call themselves leftist in reality they are all paid leftist they are all agents of elite men you ask them MRCM proposal they will oppose they will go go on and on and on and on and they will talk about 
लेबर प्रोडक्शन एज इफ दे आर वेल विशर ऑफ द पुअर एंड यू टॉक अबाउट एमआरसीएम एंड इमीजिएटली दे अपोज दैट नो देर शुड नॉट बी एनी एम आर सी एम मिनरल लॉयल्टी शुड नॉट गो टू सिटीजन डायरेक्टली सो बाई कन्फ्रंटिंग दिस पेड लेफ्टिस्ट बाई एम आर सी एम प्रपोजल वी कैन एक्सपोज दैम दैट इन रियालिटी दे आर सुडो लेफ्टिस्ट और पेड लेफ्टिस्ट एंड दिस वे वी कैन एड्रेस दैम now stand of different political parties on this issue is that almost all of them are opposed to as we all know uh this uh, proposals that i mentioned they are opposed to mrcm they are proposed opposed to well tax they are opposed to right to recall education officer what idea they give about increasing engineering is fdi FDI is not a good idea for why not a good idea because all the complex machinery will be imported if walmart comes then the software that they have made complex software they have made to manage the supply chain they will write it in us they will not write it in india because they don't want indian programmers to get knowledge of all the all those uh, uh, complex algorithms which they have implemented to create a world class supply chain likewise if you allow a foreign car manufacturing company then of course they will set up an assembly line because the labor is cheap here but the complex robots and even the inside the car the complicated parts like say transmission or uh, uh brakes etc uh, the uh, cl- uh, that complex part will be all imported and real skills come in manufacturing those complex part and that skill will not grow in india so i'll summarize i suggested the laws that i we should make increase the well tax right to recall our uh, district education system higher fire uh, social security system for labor high custom duty reduce cost of land and increase purchasing power of common that will improve engineering skills in india thank you